The Real Housewives of New Jersey premiered in 2009, and the Bravo show is still going strong 13 years on, with fans eagerly tuning in from across the globe to get all the latest news on the Housewives. The cast today, though, looks quite different, as many of its original stars have left the world of reality TV altogether. So let's take a trip down memory lane and see what the former cast is doing today. One of the original cast members, Jacqueline Larita, left the reality TV world behind in 2017 after failing to build authentic connections with fellow castmates, particularly Teresa Giudici and Melissa Gorga. Since her departure, Jacqueline has kept herself busy raising her children and grandchildren and giving back through philanthropy. The 52-year-old, whose son Nicholas was diagnosed with autism, dedicates the majority of her time to spreading autism awareness, also serving as a health coach for families requiring care related to special needs. She also operates The Little Colonel, a popcorn company that proceeds to an organization dedicated to autism. In January, Jacqueline excitedly shared getting certified in the Picture Exchange Communication System, which is a way for autistic people to communicate without relying on speech. Receiving this certification certainly has a personal meaning for the mother of three, and she hopes to share and teach it to others affected by autism as well. Caroline Mianzo was the fiercely protective mama bear who had no trouble going against anyone, whom she considered a threat to her family and friends. After being a housewife for many years, she quit, citing the negativity on the show as the main reason. Though her work with Bravo did not end upon her decision to leave The Real Housewives of New Jersey, she and her family had their own spin-off, Manzoed with children for three years. Shortly after her reality TV stint ended, she launched a business, The Friendly Monkey Soap Company, which sells handmade soap products, bath bombs, and personal care items on Etsy. Over the years, Caroline gained a lot of media attention when fellow housewife Teresa accused the former of reporting her to the IRS and triggering the government's investigation into her family's finances. It eventually ended with Teresa and her ex-husband Joe going to prison for fraud. Caroline recently ignited their feud by stating that she would love to verbally knock the out of Teresa, also vehemently denying the accusation during her son's Dear Albie podcast. It looked like the two famous women buried their hatchet in 2020, after appearing in a Super Bowl ad for Sabra Hummus, but apparently not. Ina Mianzo left all the hair pulling, table flipping, and explosive brawls behind when she exited the series. Her storyline primarily focused on her life as a mother to Lexi and her philanthropic work with the charity organization The Ladybug Foundation. Dina and her then fiance David Canton suffered a horrific home invasion and assault at their Homedell townhouse in May 2017. An extensive and ongoing four-year investigation led to the discovery of her ex-husband Thomas' involvement, which also included stalking both victims. His alleged involvement in a separate attack on David in 2015 was also proven in 2020. But Caroline, who is married to Thomas' brother Albert, advocated for her ex-brother-in-law's release when he was locked up. This led to the demise of the two sisters' relationship. Dina, who maintains a close relationship with Teresa, didn't see her bestie make it to the altar on August 6th after deciding not to attend the wedding because she didn't want to be filmed despite initially being touted as the maid of honor. On June 28, the 50-year-old celebrated her fifth wedding anniversary with a trip to Paris and wrote a swoon-worthy message to David. We last visited Paris when we first started dating in 2014. All I have to say is, we've come a long way, baby. Following her memorable stint in the first two editions, Danielle Staub walked away after having a fallout with Teresa. The pair made amends in 2016, and she returned as a friend, but they cut ties for good in season 10. In 2011, Danielle ventured off into the world of exotic dancing and signed with Scores Gentlemen's Club in Manhattan, where she danced for some of New York's wealthiest businessmen. However, the gig didn't last long. From cheating scandals and criminal records to being $1 million in debt, Danielle's life has certainly been quite a roller coaster. She returned to the series and married Marty Caffrey in May 2018, but it simply wasn't meant to be, with the pair separating just three months later. Danielle was forcibly evicted by her ex-husband from their home after their divorce. She gave another shot to love and got engaged to Oliver Meyer during a vacation to St. Barth in 2019, but the duo broke it off before they made it to the altar. The 60-year-old is a staunch advocate for rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis online. Danielle was diagnosed with both conditions over 30 years ago and frequently offers her Instagram followers advice on how to manage symptoms of the illness, including the use of sound bowls, yoga, and exercise. Before Kathy Wakili officially departed the Bravo series, she was demoted to a friend position. 
which she then said was a better fit for her lifestyle. She later confessed to being blindsided by her feud with cousin Teresa, as well as her brother and sister-in-law Joe and Melissa Gorga. This might have persuaded the producers to let her go. Since handing in her Jersey housewife title, Kathy has done incredibly well for herself. She introduced three product lines, a dessert line, a ready-to-pour cocktail, and a jewelry line. In 2017, she also opened an Italian and Mediterranean restaurant called Pizza Love in New Jersey. Kathy currently teaches a cooking course at Remington College, where she shares her love of food with the culinary arts students. She hosts a food-centric podcast as well. Teresa Apria and Nicole Napolitano are the first set of twins to ever appear on the Real Housewives franchise. The duo appeared on season 6 full-time and made a guest appearance in the next edition before leaving for good. They were embroiled in a major drama when Victoria Gotti revealed on national television that their mom Santa had an affair with Teresa's husband Reno while their father was in prison. The twins were reportedly so furious at Bravo for their part in the conspiracy, they left mid-season and refused to film additional scenes. The sisters then went on to host Blog Talk Radio's Girls in Heels from 2014 to 2016. In February 2018, a dozen people were hurt at their restaurant, Angelo's of Mulberry Street, when a fire broke out. Teresa vowed to the New York Post at the time that their restaurant would bounce back from the incident stronger than before. Amber Marchese enjoyed stirring things up with some of her fellow castmates, which she later claimed were staged. She opted to leave after one season, alleging she had no allies on the show. Surprisingly, Amber's post-Bravo life didn't have any shortage of drama either. She and her husband, James, appeared on Marriage Boot Camp. Despite James' drinking problem and Amber's extramarital affair with another woman, their relationship survived against all odds. But the couple's violent relationship was exposed again in 2016, when they reportedly got into an argument before takeoff from Los Angeles International Airport. The Virgin Airlines staff called the police after witnessing James grab Amber by the throat. The Marquises sued the airlines for defamation, claiming they weren't involved in domestic violence, but later dropped the lawsuit. Virgin Airlines filed a countersuit accusing them of lying to cover up what happened. Amber suffered a major health setback when her cancer relapsed in 2016, but she finished her treatments and was back in the clear. Sadly, her health woes didn't end there as she was later diagnosed with Lyme disease. In 2019, Amber's stepson Michael claimed she and her husband failed to support him financially and refused to pay his college fees due to him identifying as gay, but the couple vehemently denied these allegations. Currently, Amber works as a real estate agent in Manalapan, New Jersey. Nicole Napolitano entertained viewers as one of the main cast members for just one season. She was dating police officer Bobby, but since their split in 2018, her love life remains a mystery. The entrepreneur runs various businesses, including a home-based personal development business and a private jet charter business. She owns a Dairy Queen franchise too. Over the years, she has kept a relatively low profile and does not have an Instagram to keep her fans updated, but she sometimes appears on her sister Teresa's Instagram feeds. Siggy Flicker became a quick fan favorite when she debuted with a face wrapped in bandages following a facelift surgery, but just two seasons later, she quit because she apparently didn't fit in and faced a lot of bullying. A devout Jew, she was focused on philanthropy by working alongside many Jewish organizations, including the World Jewish Congress and Stand With Us. The 54-year-old also continues to fight back against anti-Semitism in the country, attending conferences, visiting colleges, and voicing her opinions on Instagram. In May 2020, Siggy and her husband, Michael Campanella, listed their Hampton-style house for just shy of $4 million. The couple originally bought the 6,500 square foot NJ Dutch Colonial in cash in 2013 for over $1.4 million, according to property records. Siggy, a huge supporter of the MAGA movement, received a lot of flack when she was wrongfully identified as one of the Trump supporters at the Capitol riots in Washington, D.C. on January 6, 2021. People calling her out cited an Instagram post in which the former housewife celebrated a video of other Trump supporters traveling to D.C., referring to them as patriots. However, Siggy slammed the allegations and claimed her innocence, saying she was vacationing with her family in Florida. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.